Hi there, this is Steve from Veritas Educational Consulting. Sometimes it's really difficult to put all that literacy research into practice. So this video is part of a series that's intended to help teachers put research into practice through the use of instructional routines. This video is about the sound by sound blending routine for single syllable words. This routine is used to teach mastery of individual grapheme phoneme correspondences. You'll want to have words from your lesson ready to use and available. Most good reading programs will have a blending board activity in grades kindergarten through three. Ideally, you'll also want to have sound spelling cards available as a reference point in case students make mistakes. Be sure that you write your words horizontally from left to right as you go. All right, with that, let's begin. Sound? 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 Ah. Uh. Lend. Fla. Sound. Sh. Lend. Flash. Word. Flash. Sound. R. Sound. I. Lend. Right. Sound. T. Lend. Right. Word. Right. Sound. Sh. Sound. It. Lend. Sh. Sound. Lend. Sh. Word. Ship. Sound. Sh. Sound. Uh. Blend. Shut. Sound. T. Blend. Shut. Word. Shut. Th. Eh. Th. Sh. Fish. Sh. I. Shy. Shine, shine, sh, ow, shell, t, shout, shout, r, a, thra, sh, thrash, thrash. D, I, d, sh, dish, dish, k, u, q, q. Good job. One of the most important things to think about as you implement a blending routine is your cueing system, and of the cueing system, the way that you point to the different graphemes is critical. So as you think about different graphemes, there are many graphemes that are just single letter graphemes like the letter L or the letter S, but other uh, graphemes have more than one letter. Graphemes with two letters are called digraphs. Graphemes with three letters are called trigraphs. And when you point to a grapheme, if a grapheme only has one letter, you'll use one finger, your pointer finger, to point at that grapheme to signal students to say that sound. If you're pointing at a digraph, you'll want to use two fingers. Likewise, if you're pointing at a trigraph, you'll want to use three fingers so that students know that all the letters in that grapheme only represent one sound. Something else that you'll notice is that with single syllable words, there are two places where you ask students to blend. The first point is when you hit the vowel, you ask students to blend from the onset or the beginning of the word through the vowel. And that's because the vowels are the most difficult parts of words for students to learn. Then you finish the word and ask the students to blend again through the entire word before you ask them to say the word naturally. To cue the students to say the word naturally, simply put your finger at the bottom left of the word, then slide a straight line all the way below the word. When students are first learning the routine, you'll want to use verbal cues and say sound every time you point to a grapheme. But as students get better at understanding the routine, you'll eventually want to drop your verbal cues off. You'll notice on the second line that I drop my verbal cue so that the student can just pay attention to the visual cue of where I point my finger. This enables the student to really 
focus on the sounds rather than getting distracted by my voice. In this video, we focused on the sound by sound blending routine for single syllable words. It's an evidence-based routine that is really useful for helping students to learn to master individual grapheme phoneme correspondences in the context of a word. By having a clear cueing system, you provide students with the structure that they need to focus their attention on what matters most, learning to the spellings of each sound so that they can be effective decoders. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, please watch my other videos or send me a message through my website, which is in the description below.